when Abraham, our father, went through his own circumcision at 99 years old, God personally went to visit him. And then the three angels came to visit him. Thus, we have learned the importance of visiting the sick. But it's not only an important good deed, a kindness. It's one of the kindness of the highest order, referred to in Hebrew as chesed shel emes. This is the truest of kindness a person can do, to visit someone that is ill. As a matter of fact, when you do visit someone that's ill, our sages in the Talmud book Nidarim, in the tractate Nidarim writes that when you visit the sick, you are actually taking away a 60th of their illness. It also writes and teaches us that God's presence lies at the bed of the ill. So when you approach a sick person, you are also approaching God's presence. By you visiting the sick, you not only lift up the spirits of the person that is ill, you are also creating a vessel of blessing for yourself and your whole family. In the tractate of Peya, as a matter of fact, we read it every single morning, that there are certain actions that we do during the day, that when we do them, we get rewarded in this world, and some actions we get rewarded in the world to come. Visiting the sick are one of those actions. When we do it, you get rewarded in this world and in the world to come. Visiting the sick is such a great mitzvah because you are an extension of God. You are a partner with God to help his fellow creation who is in a very difficult time bringing them comfort. One of the greatest verses of the Torah is love your fellow as yourself, which means not just loving your fellow as yourself, but as an extension of yourself. There is no greater mitzvah, good deed, than visiting the sick. And you don't have to do much to visit the sick. It's a commitment of time by coming to the hospital or to the home or to the nursing home or to wherever the ill or elderly person is infirmed and just being present, just showing up and just being there, letting them know that they are not forgotten. Hold their hand, pray for them, pray with them, talk to them, share with them current events, share with them some insights, talk about business, talk about life. Just be there for them. There is such a great amount of spiritual connection that happens when you come visiting a person who is ill. Both of your souls are connecting, are synchronizing. And because of you being there, not only do you bring a healing to the person, but you bring a blessing to yourself. So try to find an opportunity to visit the ill. Partake in Biker Cholem, visiting the ill, because you will be blessed with long life. And the person you are visiting will be blessed with a complete healing and a speedy recovery and for blessed for many long happy years to come. Even if the person you are visiting may be intubated, unable to talk, or is in God forbid in a coma, still visit because their soul knows that you're there. They will hear you. Recite a psalm, just talk to them, and you have fulfilled the mitzvah of Biker Cholam. This is one of the greatest good deeds to do. God in return will do greatest of kindness to you. God bless you. God loves you.